we are live. Welcome to Andor Season 1, Episode 8, Thoughts. So, this episode is called Narkina 5. So, spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to this point, including this episode. So, very harsh conditions. Even, you know, before they arrive at the, the main prison, just, you know, go going down the hallway. And, yeah, so the title of the episode refers to the prison that Cassian is sent to and let's see. yeah it was very tense when you know Cyril is sitting there working in his cubicle and we see a couple of Imperials walking down the you know and they stop right in front of him and just like you know obviously this the the we figured that you know obviously he was hoping to get to basically change the the you know he he wanted another chance to stop Cassian basically and now we find out he also you know he filed six reports to find Cassian and Detra asks him some questions and you know, and, and when she finds out that he hadn't read the report, you know, he was given no choice but to sign it, you know, she does have one of the assistants give him the report and does, you know, I mean, basically she takes advantage of the knowledge that he has until she feels like, okay, I guess this, you know, he doesn't really have the, yeah, the, the, um, there's that that bit where you know she asks him who was this guy that he was reporting to and you know Cyril's like greenish gray cloak green boots you know and just yeah they don't really have he he doesn't have enough to so yeah she she uses him as much as she feels like she has and then just that's it, you know, there's no, you know, she says, I will let them know that you were of use to the Empire today. And we see Kaz arrive at the prison, and it's surrounded by water, like Erewhon. And Dedra knows there must be a person at the center. She, you know, code names it Axis, but yeah, that's Luthen. She knows, you know, she's looking for Luthen, basically, and... Yeah, again, it's it's a logical. Of course, there has to be someone making sure that these, you know, different actions by the rebellion happen seemingly independently of one another, so they don't take too much, you know, draw too much attention. You know, you're not going to get that if without a person at the center. And, you know, at the big meeting, she slightly oversteps, but she doesn't lose composure. She does, you know, as as soon as she's able to, to you know, one, one of, the, uh, both of the, the, you know, older men in charge, you know, clearly think she's going a little too far. But when she's allowed to speak again, she immediately, you know, just, yeah. And the, you know... Yeah, I, I, I kind of loved when, you know, the, the guy is like, um, yeah, he's, you know, he's going over the list and he's like, you're asking for something that would cost a lot. And she's like, it's less for us to do this than we've lost with what they've stolen from us, you know, and it's, and she's right, you know, but he's like, excuse you like that's you know clearly not you know yeah she's not supposed to criticize that kind of yeah and yeah we learned that Cass it's you know he's gonna be working in a factory and you know when he arrives you know they're like okay so clearly you know we don't have any weapons but you know and he presses a button and you know it clearly the the inmates are in extreme pain 
they didn't have to do that. You know, they they're ba they're getting punished for nothing. You know, these guys know that there are prisoners being you know what was it? It went from six months to six years. You know, so some of these people haven't really done anything. You know, and and when he gets there, and you know, he's at so what are you in for? He says nothing. We get a lot of that these days. And let's see. Yeah, and and you know, Cyril fights to for Dedra to you know let him keep working on it, and she turns him down and threatens him. You know. If you file another report, I'm not the person you're going to be speaking to. And, and you know, as Cassian moves through the, you know, obviously he's trying to figure out weak links of the, of like the control room. And I noted that he, he keeps being given orders that almost contradict each other, like the, Let's see, there was one where he's told, move, stop, you know, something, just, you know, I, I get the, you know, okay, they, they tell him when to go, they tell him when to stop, but there's such little time in between that it's like not, wait, is he, is he saying that once I get there I should stop, or is he telling me stop right now, you know, and... Love seeing Andy Serkis again, you know, and like, yeah, like with Stellan Skarsgård and later in this episode, also Forrest Whitaker, you know, once you're in, you know, Disney, they, yeah, although Whitaker had already been in, in Star Wars, this is, you know, this show is, I believe the first that Circus and Skarsgård are in Star Wars, but they were in the MCU, and that's also Disney. So I, I, I know some. I, I'm not saying everything Disney is good. I certainly think they should treat their employee employees better. But I do kind of like this thing. You know, once you're in, it's like, well, is there anything else we could put this guy in? What is he good at exactly? You know, the fact that Michael Giacchino, you know, for so many years he's been just doing music, but he's wanted to direct, and Disney actually gave him the chance, and he, you know, absolutely nailed it. Just, yeah, I, I really appreciate that. There's, you know, there's a lot of people who have talent, but they're just not getting noticed. And yeah, if you're in Disney, if there, if you make something for Disney, or if you take part in making something for Disney that makes a lot of money, they're gonna look over. You know, is there something else that you could, you know, because if you don't know Stellan Skarsgård from anything other than like the Thor movies, yeah, the way he is in this, that's the way. You know, I'm Danish. He, uh, yeah, he's not Danish. He is. I uh, I want to say Swedish. He's definitely. Scandinavian, and yeah, he's been, you know, he's been in Lars von Trier, for example, and the, the, just, um, I, yeah, Sweden, he's from Sweden, and, right, you, you might also have seen him in something like the, the, ah, uh, what was it called, Good, Goodwill Hunting, you know, all right, he is an Amistad. I kind of forgot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know, more recently he's done the you know he's done the Thor movies where you know he's good, but he's in part comic relief, especially in the second Thor movie. And yeah, the the intense kind of you know yeah the way he is in this show. That's how we Scandinavians are used to seeing him in you know the the movies and TV and such that he's done you know, yeah, in Scandinavia, so I really appreciate that he got a chance to, you know, there was a time where if you were a funny actor, the, you know, the studios weren't going to take a chance and let you be anything other than funny. Now, the, yeah, and we're told that, you know, the, the shifts are 12 hours long, and for all of that, they have to compete, you know, and... The what was it? The guards only come down when they. 
the guards only come down to replace the dead. Which, you know, and that's, yeah, that's, they, they work you so hard that ultimately, you know, just think about that. Imagine working in a place where you could be worked to death. And, yeah, you know, every team in the room has to outdo the other teams, and the rooms compete with each other. And, you know, it's just, it's an intense level of new info for Cassian. It's completely just, yeah. And then we're told the least productive team will be disciplined, which means they will be punished for doing nothing wrong. Now, the. Let's see. Yeah, you know, it, I really got to think, you know, this is a very clear criticism of prison labor in general. I suppose it's all, I, you know, I realize the U.S. is not the only country to have prison labor, but the U.S. does imprison an absolutely absurd amount of people. So, yeah, you know, I, I figure this is probably trying to get some empathy for them. And, you know, we even see that the, yeah, the, the people in prison, they can't actually get any information from the outside that's not, like, and we find out some that that Tay wa does want to work with Mon Mothma, but the you know there are regulations to yeah. So let's see. Yeah, and and if I understand correctly, Cass was fried for being on the slowest table, even though he didn't even have time to do any work. He's being punished for nothing. And, yeah, I get a real Fortress vibe from the prison scenes, and I really love it. Another movie that is definitely critical of the prison system. And and we learn that, I realize this note is out of order, but we learn that, aren't we all out of order sometimes? We learn that Mon's husband used to be a firebrand in his youth, which, yeah, that's wild to, to imagine and and you know one of the guests asks the the husband something and he's like oh you know I have to ask my wife oh here my wife is they were just asking how many hours do we spend just enjoying the view you know it's just wow and I can't help but notice that this is an episode will where every so often it will cut you know, there would be a very harsh cut from the the prison to, for example, senators living in luxury, you know, and it is this thing of, you know, these are the two different, you know, yeah, I, I can't help but think it's it's a criticism of the kinds of things that poor people are forced to so that rich people can live in, um with greater privilege, greater luxury. And Mon is clearly worried that Tay left so suddenly, and the camera pans to the tab, and we transition 30 shifts ahead, and Circus yells at them, not even trying to understand what the issue is. And, uh, you know, if correct me if I'm wrong. As far as I understand, he's not actually getting punished for them not doing as well. He's getting rewarded if they do really well. He's not getting punished if he if they don't do as well as just so yeah. And and Bix helps out Marva, we learn she still keeps it too cold. She's a rebel. Another episode where I'm not bored for a second, even though it has a lot of talking. You know, there's, there's a, a little bit of, like, um, yeah, you know, Bix is chased through the streets, for example. And the, you know, obviously when we see them be punished, that also, like, jolts us. Although, obviously nowhere near as much. But other than that, you know, it's it's a more visual episode than some of the others. But, yeah, it's largely, we're being, you know, we're getting information. 
and we're seeing some relationships and such. And it not there's not a single second of this episode where I'm like, okay, can we move on with it? You know, this is just like, wow. And we see Vel and Cinta, and Cinta's going to stay and wait for Cass to come home, even though he already visited Ferex, and yeah. I'll tell them I'm a rich girl trying to get away from my family. That's cold, even for you. So I'm guessing Vel used to be rich, and, you know, she... Yeah, the the maybe Cinta and maybe some of the others are... Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess they're all dead by now, aren't they? But, you know, yeah, the ones of them that knew that Vel started out rich probably resent her for that and are like, oh, wow, rich, spoiled brat and running away from home. You know, the rest of us have real problems. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and Luthen and... I'm fr it's just, it's too many names, so I'm going to keep calling her Luthen's assistant. Yeah, you know, they, they at first they, they discuss it, but ultimately he does agree they have to shut down the Ferex radio signal, and Bix realizes it and is really devastated. And, you know, someone suicided in, in the prison. I think they did say his name, but it's there's way too many new names. I think it might be the old guy who struggled, you know, uh, let's see, there was something, he he struggled to get a thing to stick or unstick or something, and one of the others had to help him at Cass's table, and yeah, you know, I mean, I can totally understand, I mean, so he was one of the ones who were fried from the, you know, as punishment and this is 30 shifts later, I mean, who knows, it might, I could imagine it happened again, like, if you're getting old, and you're struggling to do things you used to be able to, if you don't have a supportive environment to help you, you know, improve, if you're in prison, yeah, that, that might go, get much, more, it might torpedo, it might completely destroy, you know, yeah, and and eventually he just couldn't take it anymore so he yeah and and now we do also you know yeah for sure if you leave the cell if you touch the floor when it when the the red glow is on you know that's enough to to kill you and you know the the various prisoners argue over it and one of them says i you know he's not going to get in we're going to have to smell him for i forget what they said you know, and as, uh, he doesn't get any of my sympathy for doing it here, and just, you know, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty... How... How desensitized do you have to be to, for, to, to other people's suicides that you start saying things like, he didn't have to commit suicide here, now I have to smell him. You know, that's that's not how you react the first time someone commits suicide. You know, yeah, like some of the young prisoners, who knows, maybe a dozen people, maybe more, have suicided. You know, the ones who maybe were aging as they got there, or maybe, I mean, I can't help but think, you know, how much do they test them? Yeah. Circus asked, can you read? I mean, if they don't even, if they know that little about them, I could imagine, like, every so often they probably get someone who, for other reasons than being old, you know, I mean, all you have to be is clumsy for, for that, like, what if you drop something important and it really slows your table down, you know, and... Yeah, I, I'm going to get a little bit into it. Uh, I know this is going to be unpleasant for everyone involved. I can't help but think about people with, you know, even minor disabilities. You know, if, if there is something where just, you know, you move a little slower than other people maybe expect, or you have a little bit more of a problem understanding 
directions because they like one of the guys at the table just told Cassian watch me tomorrow you're going to have to do exactly what I do they're not going to like he's not going to get like of a, a you know a piece of paper with the steps to study and memorize he's not going to get like of a video that he can rewind and pause to look. No, no, he's going to get to see it a little bit. You know, what was it they said? They have 40 minutes left? He's going to get to see it several times, maybe, and then he has to be able to do it 12 hours in a row, preferably with no, you know, absolutely no mistakes, you know. So, so yeah, you know, maybe some people with physical disabilities, maybe some people with mental, you know, or, or just like, you know, yeah, mental health issues, like Circus said various, you know, he, he listed a couple of different things that could be problems. And when he mentioned, if you feel like you're, you're losing your mind, losing hope, don't, you know, I don't want to hear it or some, something like that, you know. And yeah, Bix is recognized and runs and the the imperial has the gall to make a joke like you know he's bix that's you isn't it if not i have to say that is an uncanny resemblance wow you're about you're you're going to capture her so she can be interrogated possibly tortured and you're going to make a joke just yeah you know they're again desensitized and we see Saw and Luthen together. I will literally never complain about seeing Forrest Whitaker in something. And yeah, there's this, you know, both of them pretend, you know, deep down Saul probably knows that it's Luthen, but yeah, you know, Luthen has to pretend and tries to convince him, you know, work with this guy, you know, and the the yeah and i really appreciate this this it is this thing of just this is what luthen does you know he goes around to different places with you know a lot of really expensive stuff and some of the stuff he you know he sells sometimes he'll you know, offer it in exchange for working with, you know, he said, well, how much do you want for it? And he says, it's free if you agree to work with him, you know, and yeah, when, when he dealt with Andor, you know, at first he's like, okay, so you have this thing that I'm willing to pay a lot of money for, but I'm actually here for you. And Andor is like, what, it, what is this? You know, he doesn't know if he can trust Luthen and Luthen is like, I will pay you double just if you, what well, was it, was it listen or was it come with something like that, you know, because that is, you know, clearly Cassian wants some money, otherwise he wouldn't have stolen this difficult to steal expensive thing for, for money, you know, so yeah, and yeah, you know, every so often he can't, like he managed to, to strong arm Val into taking Cass with, uh, even though she also really did not like that yeah, sometimes he, he probably doesn't manage to convince someone to, yeah. And, let's see, yeah, and, and Bix sees, I think they called him Pack, and, you know, the, the, Dedra stops the guy from, from emptying the room, and it's like, no, 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 I want her to see this, you know, and then she pretends, oh, get him out of here, you know, so that she knows, you know, and, and we get this, this really great shot that the, you know, Dedra is like, have a seat, and, and we see the chair, and that's the one Pac was just in, you know, this old man who, could he even walk on his, like, they had to, like, drag him, or, or at least support him to get out of there, you know, and it's like, what did they do to this? Like, okay, I, I get, you know, he's he's maybe old, but I really, like, I don't think that he had trouble walking before they got to him, you know. And we get this really great, like, you know, it's, yeah, there's very implied threat there. 
and we get this great shot where the the door shuts and yeah i gotta say it really reminded me of when the door shuts on leia in the death star when she's about to be tortured by that giant flying or not giant the the flying thing which had like a syringe and and other stuff you know yeah the the with a with a very clear implication that you know this is this is going to hurt and yeah uh, i don't think i really have anything else i didn't write anything else down certainly yeah, I I really really love the the continued commentary on this like I it's not I I haven't it's not that I've never before seen media that does a really good job criticizing dictators and and such but this is one that is so mainstream like a lot of people are going to watch this you know, and as I said, I think last video, this might be some people's introduction to Star Wars. Like, this is, you know, there's there's not very much Star Wars that's like, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I have old re old elderly relatives that might enjoy this who would never be into like a Star Wars movie or any of the other live action shows. You know, but. This thing of just yeah, I I really appreciate. It. I really really love that that Disney are are doing this, you know. Yeah. Um. As usual, make sure you watch Jesse Gender's video on the episode, and just yeah, I this is this is so amazing. I really really yeah. Um, I don't think there is anything else, but just, yeah, the, the, anything else, I, I, you know, Jesse Gender does a really great job of, of breaking down things in the episode that I don't talk about, and I, I, I don't really have anything to add, other than, you know, I, I think there might be a, a thing or two in this video that I, where I, comment on something that she also but yeah that's it um it's it's really really difficult to wait an entire week for the next episode of this but yeah and there will be video there I, I will be doing more videos this week I intend to do some on Marvel Netflix and I think I'm going to keep it that vague just to not jinx it. So, yeah. That is it for this time. So, catch you some other point in time.